Hey everybody, how is it going today? Well, in this video, I want to go over TSNPD or Humble Incorporated. It's been about a week and a half or so since I've done an update video, and I just got a couple of requests, so I'm going to go over that chart. Plus, I do have some interesting rumors about TSNPD. We'll get into that. And then, of course, I have some other nice-looking charts to show you as well. Now, if you're new to my channel, I like to trade and invest in typically lower priced stocks. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please do all of your own research before investing in any of these stocks. All right, well, first off, I am going to start in the rumor mill. Now, one of the Patreons in my Patreon group was nice enough to share this tweet it was from Brian Foote, the CEO of Humble Incorporated, and this tweet says, The Humble Marketplace NFT section is currently on track to launch in the month of April 2021. He also says, We will be using the Humble Token Engine to experiment with both physical and digital asset ownership. All right, so if you're not familiar with what an NFT is, well, first off, where have you been? Because this is the latest hot sector in the stock market. But in simplest terms, NFTs transform digital works of art and other collectibles into one-of-a-kind verifiable assets that are tradable on the blockchain. NFTs are pieces of digital content linked to the blockchain, which is the digital database underpinning cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, unlike NFTs, cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning they can be replaced or exchanged with, a, with another identical one of the same value, much like a dollar bill. NFTs, on the other hand, are unique and not mutually interchangeable, which means no two NFTs are the same. All right, well, before I get over to the Humble Incorporated chart, I do want to show you the chart of some of these other NTF stocks to show you how hot they have been. Now, I don't know if Humble Incorporated is definitely going to get into this business. All I saw was that tweet, so you're going to have to dig in a little bit deeper to know if they are definitely getting into this space. But the first stock that I want to show you is TCAT. And, and actually, um, if you guys know of any other NFT stocks that I'm not going to cover in this video, please leave them down there in the comment section for me because I would like to know which other stocks are also related to this industry. But TCAT went from around, looks like about $3.25 to up over $70 in about a week or so so that just shows you how hot some of these stocks have been next one i want to show you is dlpn dlpn went from right around 550 to over 30 dollars in only two trading days so these things are absolutely red hot another one i want to show you is zekin Zekins went on a pretty decent run as well. Went from a, on a run of about $4.50 from the 50 simple period moving average to up over 14 in about two weeks. So this one has also been a huge mover. One that I traded was YVR. Now I bought this one right around three and a quarter when it was pulling back to this moving average. And um, I got rid of most of it at right around $6.50 a share, but it... By the looks of this chart, it doesn't look like the run is over just yet. I'm really interested to see how it uh, reacts to this eight-period exponential moving average once it touches it. I think if it can bounce off of it, we could have a pretty good possibility of seeing a new high. If it crashes through it, I think the run could be over in this one. But uh, I still have a small position in this one, so I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this one. Um, another one that I want to go over is HOFV. Now, this one is having a very big day, even though it's pulling back from the highs. Um, these charts are getting pretty toppy, but it doesn't look like the run is over just yet, if I had to guess, because it looks like it's just starting uh, to get going. Um, I think there could be a pullback in these stocks before the next run up. We'll just have to see. But I do uh, have to admit that some of these stocks definitely look like they could be toppy. So use caution when uh, buying some of these stocks. Wait to see um, how these pullbacks look. If these pullbacks really crash, then you know that these things are probably toast, at least in the short term. But if they can hold some of these highs and hold above that white line on a chart, that eight period exponential moving average, um, there's a pretty good possibility that the run is not over just yet. Um, another one I want to show you is WK. 
W key is actually pulling back right to that eight period exponential moving average. So it's right in a perfect buy area that I like to buy at. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on this one. I haven't bought any of it yet, but I might get some after this video. One that I did buy today is CIDM. Now this one gapped up, but it is pulling back. So I am down just a little bit in this one, but I am... I am optimistic that it's probably going to head higher. Um, I don't think the run in these things are over just yet. Now, I don't even know if CIDM is technically in this space. That's just the rumor, and uh, sometimes a rumor is enough to send stocks up in the short term. That's why I think that news with Humble possibly being associated with NFTs could be a very big catalyst, at least in the short term. All right, well, here is the daily chart for Humble Incorporated, ticker symbol TSNPD. As we can see, it's having a pretty decent day so far. It's up about 4.5% on the day. Uh, it was as high as $4.09, but right now it's trading at $4 even. So it's having a pretty decent day, even though it is pulling back just a little bit. But if we look at the trend, we can see this trend is definitely up. It's getting above all of these short-term moving averages. And in fact, it did come all the way down, break through that 50-period simple moving average, but then got right back above it the next day, which of course is a very bullish reversal sign. And um, it is continuing to trend higher. Now, if this stock can continue to move sideways a little bit and hold these highs till these moving averages catch up, I think there's a very good possibility the same could be moving higher in the short term. And that's not even if you factor in the chance of that short term catalyst with uh, the NFT news. I mean, if that if that ends up materializing, um, this could be the next one in that group that takes off. You know, who knows? I don't know if there's any validity to that rumor. That's sh I'm just sh showing you guys what I was shown. But if we go intraday, um, it's been about seven or eight days since I've made a video on TSNP. Um, I did make a, a comment in that last video that it could find support right around uh, $2.50 because of this area of support. And it looks like that is actually what happened. And if we look at that move, that move ends up being right around 60%. So it's making a, a pretty decent up move from that low. And if we do zoom in, we can see the... Um, bullish triangles that i drew on this chart this chart is leveling up quite nicely if you do short term trade this stock uh, you're probably doing pretty good because a lot of these patterns that tsnpd does make are pretty tradable you know you usually get a fast move up then it kind of goes sideways and you get another move up it levels up and levels down pretty consistently so if you are into short-term trading, this is a great stock to be trading back and forth. I know some of you guys out there uh, really believe in this company and you're in it for the long term. You're not interested in trading. But, you know, you can still have a sizable position in this stock and uh, trade around a small part of it, you know, and you can make some income as it's moving. But um, it is a very nice looking uh, chart pattern. Let me go back to the daily chart. But if we go to the daily chart, we can see that it is starting to get up close near to some of this resistance uh, right around 450. That is more than 10 percent away. So it's not getting super close to it. But TSNPD is looking really bullish in the short term. And if that catalyst does come into play, uh, this could be the next one that really screams higher. All right, so let's get into some of those other nice looking chart patterns that I wanted to show you. Now, I know the market is correcting, and I'm always hesitant to take new long positions when the market is correcting, but uh, I wanted to show you these anyway because the way this market moves, it'll be down big one day and then up big the next. So who knows? These might be great patterns for tomorrow. But first one I want to show you is Rave Restaurant Group, ticker symbol R-A-V-E. I've had this one on the channel multiple times. This one has been a thorn in my side because it starts to break out, and then it pulls back, starts to break out again. Does another fake out, pulls back, started to break out again, did another pullback. But right now, it is holding that 21 period exponential moving average. It's held it for the last two days. And actually, when I put this on my uh, list for the video, it was actually above the eight period exponential moving average. Um, so it looked like it was it was looking like it was probably going to pick, be picking up some momentum and uh, headed higher. But um, looks like the market has been pulling back. But in my experience, when I have a stock like this that has had multiple uh, uh, f breakout failures, uh, typically just a little while longer, it will have a breakout that actually works. And normally, 
when a stock does have multiple breakout failures, or at least in the past, I would just discard the stock and not even look at it again. And uh, then, of course, I would find it a few months later just to realize that it did have an explosion to the upside. So now I still try to keep them on my watch list, especially when they've had multiple uh, breakout failures, because usually when one does stick, it ends up being a pretty good one. So uh, RAVE is definitely one worth keeping an eye on. Next one I want to talk about is TH. TH is in the oil and gas equipment services sector. Um, this one has been moving sideways, had that false breakdown in November, and now has been coming up the right side of that rounded bottom and is starting to pick up some momentum. Came all the way down to the 200 period simple moving average just a couple of weeks ago, found support there, and it looks like it could be ready to blast off. So uh, TH looks like it could be ready to break through this resistance area, and this res resistance area has had a lot of touches, so this is a pretty stiff resistance point. Point, and once it breaks through that, it should be a pretty decent breakout. Okay, the next one I want to show you is one that I've also talked about on the channel before, which is Beekeep. Beekeep is also in the oil and gas sector and is making a very nice uh, bullish flag formation. If we go to the 15-minute chart, we can see it just a little bit better. And of course, when you see these formations, go intraday, draw your support lines, draw your... Uh, your your trend lines and then wait for it to break above those trend lines and then hold those moving averages because if it doesn't break above that trend line and then do a hold on those moving averages there's a greater chance that the breakout is going to fail so that's why i like to look for these patterns go intraday draw these lines and then just wait for it to make the next step which is of course is a break above these moving averages and then of course hold that white line that eight period exponential moving average and then usually uh, it will start moving higher let's go back to the daily real quick and we can see that this move has been pretty extended so i'm usually a little skeptical when a move has been this extended and it's making a bullish flag i usually like to see those bullish flags be a little tighter to the breakout before you know you have that big move up so this one i am a little skeptical of but i'm still watching it and um, if it does do what i was talking about by getting above um, those moving averages and holding that eight period exponential moving average i think i'm still going to be interested in this stock because there's still a lot of volume coming into this one all right the next one i want to show you is volt if we back out the chart on volt a little bit we can see the trend is now starting to accelerate and it is holding the eight period exponential moving average and breaking out to new highs today so chances are you're probably going to get some follow through on volt um, this one is in the staffing and outsourcing services sector you wouldn't think that one would be a hot stock but hey the chart pattern is the chart pattern it is definitely holding this support area and blasting off into a new high so Volt is one that's definitely worth keeping an eye on. The last one I want to show you is DHT. DHT is another one that is in the oil and gas sector. These ones are starting to show up on my scans again. If we back out the chart, we can see it is making a very easy to see rounded bottom. Had that false break right in the middle like I like to see and has been slowly grinding higher. This one is a $6 stock, so it's a little bit higher than the ones I normally point out. But this is a very nice looking pattern. And um, I think if it can break above this old high right around 650 and hold it, not break and then fall fall right back below like it did before. But if it, if it can break above 650 and hold that, I think there is a very good chance that um, it could be moving up past 7 and beyond real soon. All right, everybody, that's all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions or comments on this stock or any other stocks, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. And until next time, take care, everybody.